good afternoon ladies and gentlemen this is rusty 78609 and i'm nearing my destination for today yokum county park near denver city texas and according to uh, google maps i'm about 10 minutes away and with that in mind we'll get to see what goes on on the way to this park I've, I'll let you see Denver City. I know you wanted to see Denver City, Texas for a long, long time. But this is oil country, folks. I mean, there's a lot of oil wells in this area. Seminole, Texas, Andrews, Odessa, that whole area. It's the Saudi Arabia of the United States. I mean, there's hundreds of, of pumping units out here. But having said that, uh, I was going to do a... a walking video this morning at Iran, the place where I was, at the city park, but decided not to because it was really gray skies, it was misty rain, so I didn't do it. Isn't that the way that goes? But here we go, we'll, we'll do this one, and uh, how's it going so far? Pretty good, we're still right around 10 miles a gallon. Uh, and the temperature right now shows me 57 degrees. I've been running in and out of uh, misting rain. It, it'll mist and then it'll stop, mist, stop. The wind's out of the northeast, and I'm headed kind of northwest, sort of, so it's not a bad wind, but it's not much wind. It's about 13 miles an hour or so. But we're coming into Denver City now, and uh, yeah, we'll see what we got. I'll let y'all enjoy it. We're, may be able to see a few pumping units uh, every now and then in the video. There's a lot of them out here, folks. I mean, thousands, thousands. I mean, far as you can see in every direction, those little things are just pump, pump, pumping. And they're regulated by the uh, Railroad Commission in Texas, which is like uh, OPEC of Texas, I guess you'd say. I mean, they keep the oil prices uh, stable, I guess. You know. I don't know how they do it. I mean, I'm not sure. But be that as it may, we're coming into Denver City. I don't even know what the population is. There's usually a, a city limit sign out here somewhere that will tell us. Look at it. I mean, if you can see them, I mean, I, I would zoom, but uh, it, it, that, uh, it, it makes it shake too much. But yeah, they're, they're flaring off that old uh, gas that they don't want and there, there's, I'm sure at night around here it's pretty well lit up. But here we come into Denver City, city limits now. Population is, and I quote, 4,479 people. Now we got 4,480. And it smells like rotten eggs. <laughs> this is Yoakum County. We got to go to Yoakum County Park. Gasoline here is, and I quote, uh, 289 for regular unleaded. I got it in Odessa for 279 because I checked and uh, made sure I got the best deal I could find on gas. This is really flat. The, actually, the elevation of uh, Denver City, Texas is 3,700 feet, which is not too bad. I mean, it wouldn't be too hot in the summer. But boy, this is the high plains of Texas right here. I mean, they get some real winds in here like Amarillo, Lubbock. And, uh, you know, they, they get dust storms out here occasionally, not often, but every now and then. Is this Tornado Alley? Uh, I don't know. It's, it may be part of it. But Tornado Alley in Texas is the Wichita Falls area, north of Dallas, along the Red, oh, excuse me, is it the Red River? I think it's the Red River. That corridor in there. I guess there's no place in the world to hide from some type of bad weather. And on and on we go, guys. I got a good lunch planned. I just have to get there to do it. It's about 12, I don't know what time is it now. Uh, 12.40. 
Central Standard Time or Texas time. So it'll be about 1.30 before I sit down to my noon meal. But does that matter? No. Whenever I get to it, I get to it. But beer 30 doesn't change. <laughs> oh no. no. We don't we don't mess around with beer 30. That's that's uh, that's carved in stone. Yep, it's been a fun trip so far. I'm kind of enjoying this, guys. And, and I, I just have to pinch myself thinking that, you know, I, I got everything with me. Everything I own in the whole world except for those two lots in Lano, and I couldn't get them in the RV. Uh, everything's here, you know. Uh, it's a good feeling for me. Regular unleaded there is two ninety five. dollars mm. Letty's Mexican Grill, but it's closed. All right, let's sped up a little bit. It's not too far out here. It's just right outside of town because it's a golf course and a county park. Neat place, man. And when I leave, I do go through Plains, Texas, and then take a left to go to Roswell, New Mexico. It's about 180 miles from Yoakum County Park to uh, Ros I mean to Capitan. I'll stop at Roswell tomorrow and get gas. I know y'all want to know all this crap. But you know, out here in these oil patches where they got so many oil wells like this, you get that rotten egg smell, and that's a uh, uh, hydrogen, or that's sulfur actually. But H2S is the gas that'll kill you out in the oil field and they used to have these wind socks uh, where you can see which way which way the wind is blowing and uh, if there's uh, H2S at that well uh, they'll have all kind of signs and monitors and the guys that are going in there to work have to wear these badges and stuff that would start beeping if they're in an area where it's where they are exposed, but they say that if you smell it, that it you know, has a rotten egg smell, like it is sulfur, it's hydrogen sulfide. And uh, but they say if you smell it, it's too late, you're dead. And, and they've had several people working working in the oil patch that were killed by that gas because what they see one of their friends go down not know what the problem was, go there to rescue him, another one goes down and then you get another one, another one. sometimes you get three or four guys at the same time. So, got to be careful out there. If safety is job one in the oil patch, I'll guarantee you. Got all kind of problems they can have. Explosions, blowouts, and all kind of stuff. So we're climbing here by Class C just shifted into a lower gear, and the temperature is 55 degrees. Little misty rain, not uh, much. I mean, just really light. Hoping it stays that way till I get set up. I think they have. They have. I know they have water and electric here, but I don't think they have sewer, which doesn't matter to me. Water. I can live with a water and electric anywhere. Let's see what Google says, how far away are we? It says two minutes to the park. And believe it or not, it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty correct. You know, you can use your uh, Google Maps as a speedometer if you don't have a speedometer in your vehicle, because it'll show how fast you're going. It shows me going 52, and that's about right. <laughs> Maybe going. But why am I driving so slow? Because I ain't no hurry, man. It's a four lane highway. If people want to pass, they can pass. But we're, I see the tree line up here. That tree line is always the indicator that we're almost there. Because uh, we go right into where those trees are. That's the uh, park. Now we're up to 56. Get down home. Man, if you could see the old pumping units around, you'd just be amazed. You want to know where your gasoline comes from? Yo! I'll leave that on. Yeah, it's going to be... It, it, the mist just kind of comes and goes and comes and goes. Is that a restaurant? It says... No, it's not. It's all field service. Okay, I don't want to miss the turn. Got one of those hysterical markers up here on the left. 
says, yeah, this is it right here. Yeah, it's kind of hard. You can miss this real easy. That little sign is, it hadn't been painted in 50 years. Your destination is on the right. Thank you. I got it, babe. You're right. This is Yoakum County Park, and it is free camping for one or two nights, I think. And right now, there's nobody here. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. And you know, it was the same way at uh, um, Iran. I mean, there was nobody there. So, and I, actually, I have not seen uh, hardly any RVs on the road. You know, I was expecting to see a lot of RVs, and I, hard, I didn't see any, or have, have seen very few. Let me get this right. They also have a dump station here. I just saw the sign, and they also have these cute little speed bumps that are really speed bumps. Pretty little golf course. The reason I go real slow is I have to remember that I've got my toad, old Sparky, back there behind me. I've got to let him get over the speed bumps too. I'll tell you something else about this park. Whenever you pick a site, which I'm going to go up and turn around and come back because the sites are here on the left-hand side. You see the power boxes? But whenever you pick a site, be careful that you don't pick one right next to a, a, a water sprinkler uh, it, because you'll hear something in the middle of the night. They've got them on timers. And... Uh, They'll cut on and really get your attention at night. Yeah, you can go all the way up here to the golf course and then turn around. Pretty golf course. Kind of like Lano, actually. The, the golf course in Lano, very similar. County golf course. Or this is a county, the other one. Yeah, the other one's county too, I guess. But you gotta go all the way all the way up here and turn around. I mean, I could have waited till in the morning to turn around, but, oh, but, 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 you don't want to wake up in the morning and uh, somebody's got a fifth wheel and a motorhome got you kind of semi-boxed in. And I've never had any problem up here turning around. You know, they do, sometimes if they have a golf tournament, there'll be a lot of cars here. And, uh, but knock on wood, this is, what, Tuesday morning, not a big day for golf. And it's misty rain, so probably not too many people are playing. That was the clubhouse there. I don't think they have a snack bar there. If they did, I'd probably come up here and get some. I've never been in the clubhouse. Well, here we are, ladies and gentlemen. We got all turned around. But see, the downside of that, that puts your hookups on the wrong side. But it's only water and electric. And so you got plenty of cord and plenty of hose to reach the boxes. So here we go. We're going back down here now. And I'll pick one kind of on the end. But it's a good place to walk in the mornings. Of course, if it's not raining. But it's... Uh, yeah, I walked around the golf course because it was early in the morning when I got ready to leave and there was nobody out playing. So yeah, I do just like I did in, do in Lano, you yeah. know. Let's go find our home for the night, guys. Isn't it wonderful to be able to do this? Man, ain't nothing. Nobody here, man. Got a little duck pond down there. I went down one time. I didn't feed the ducks. I just watched the silly things like I do in Lano. Well, they're leaving. See, they know who's here. They, they know I don't want to be bothered and jacked with. Okay, now I want to be sure I don't get one with a sprinkler. Because they will definitely wake you up in the middle of the night. Alright, we're going to go all the way down here to this one. It says one RV per box. Okay, I'm going to kind of get in here, right here, but I'm going to turn my wheels out like that. Let me check. Well, I'll do that in a minute. Anyway, guys, we're here at Denver City, or yeah, Yoakum County Park, and I've got to do a few things, so I'll do them. Anyway, guys, from uh, my new home for the night,
Thumbs up, Carpe Diem, adios, bye bye. Buy anything you want anytime. If you think about it, use the link to Amazon products in the description of all my videos. Why? It doesn't cost you a penny. And uh, yeah, drink plenty of water, stretch, walk, keep your health, whatever it takes to keep your health and enjoy your life. Adios, amigos, till next time. Bye bye.